An announcement that is shaking up the Iowa sports scene. Offensive lineman Caden Proctor, who transferred from Alabama to Iowa this winter, is going back to Bama. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh spoke with Central Iowans about Proctor's reversal and the system that makes this possible, Marcus. Laura, Iowa football fans know that prized offensive line recruit Southeast Polk's Caden Proctor originally committed to the University of Iowa, but he flipped to Alabama late in the recruiting cycle. He's currently enrolled in class in Iowa City. His stay there won't be long. This spring, he'll be back in class in Tuscaloosa. This fall, Caden Proctor will again wear the red and white for the Alabama Crimson Tide football team. His renewed interest with the University of Iowa lasted only a few months. There is disappointment he is once again Bama bound. There is also understanding he's still a teenager. As a father of two grown men now, they, they changed their minds many times and what they want to do in life. You know, one wanted to go to Tennessee, one wanted to go to Texas A&M. They end up going to UNI. So I understand that it's their prerogative. And you know, it just Alabama might be the best fit for him. So I, I can under, I, I respect that. The system in place allows Division I college athletes a one-time transfer to another four-year school. They can start playing immediately as long as their grades are good. After that first transfer, it gets tricky. According to the NCAA Eligibility Center, most undergraduate student athletes will be required to attend their new Division I school for one academic year before being able to compete. But there is a waiver process available. Athletes who can show they need to transfer schools can. The landscape has changed dramatically. Some people just call it the Wild West now. Scott Bull is an associate professor of sports business at Grandview University. He says the transfer rules are complicated enough. Things hit overdrive when adding name, image, and likeness into the mix. And so the NCAA is constantly um, kind of uh, adapting to the new rules. So now students are able to get NIL deals to make money off their name, image, and likeness, which is great. But the NCAA does have a hard time dealing with that. Scott Bull adds this makes it difficult for college coaches, but it is great for the student athletes. They have the flexibility and can literally be a free agent every year.